Just in Baltimore are working on plans to remove the wreckage from that deadly bridge collapse earlier this week. The massive container ship is still in place with the mangled debris from the Francis Scott Key Bridge right on top of it. Authorities are also working on recovering the remains of the four victims still unaccounted for after Tuesday's collapse. ABC's Christian Cordero is in Baltimore with the latest. For three days, crews have searched Baltimore's cold, murky water for the six construction workers who died in the collapse of the Francis Scott Key Bridge. In the past 24 hours, we've learned more about who they're looking for. And our hearts are with the families. And to all the families, we are so sorry for this tragedy. Maryland officials say 35-year-old Alejandro Hernandez Fuentes, originally from Mexico, and 26-year-old Dorlian Cabrera from Guatemala were pulled from a red pickup truck submerged in 25 feet of water Wednesday. ABC News has also confirmed Miguel Luna, originally from El Salvador, and Menor Suazo Sandoval, who emigrated from Honduras, are also among the dead. They all lived in the Baltimore area and were fixing potholes on the bridge when it collapsed. New video shows the lights on the ship go in and out twice, less than five minutes before it slammed into the key bridge. Maritime shipping expert Sal Mercogliano describes the ship going quiet as the worst possible sound. It, it, it's horrifying because you know you've lost control. There's nothing you can do. I mean, you're literally at the, at the mercy of inertia and currents and winds. Authorities say the swift moves of dispatchers and police may have prevented an even bigger catastrophe. The May Day call prompted them to stop drivers from traveling on the bridge. I need one of you guys on the south side, one of you guys on the north side, hold all traffic on the key bridge. The NTSB is reviewing preliminary data to better understand what caused the power outage. A full investigation could take over a year. Officials say the next priority is to reopen the busy port. But you don't want any more problems in the ship. You know, it's, it's kind of grounded right now up against the pier. So you don't want to pull it off and it winds up sinking on you. Today, the state of Maryland formally requested $60 million from the federal government to cover their initial and most immediate needs. In Baltimore, Christiane Cordero, Channel 6 Action News.